Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, let's get into September, see what else is showing up here, what other messages you may need to know, you may need to hear. Starting in September, okay, you've got clock, need time, taking time, a cycle. Hmm, okay. You also have camera and somebody likes you. Okay, Virgo. So looks like there's this making some progress in your life, Virgo. Making some changes, taking some time to heal, letting a cycle or a situation cycle out. Um, you might be going through some kind of a grief process, reminiscing, learning from the past, <clears throat> looking at some old pictures or keepsakes of um, people, places, or things from your past as you move forward. But you also have someone here who um, is interested in you. All right, so I feel like some of you are, you know, you're moving away from perhaps a, a relationship, past relationship. Um, thinking back on that relationship, what lessons have you learned, good or bad, positive or negative? Um, Maybe putting something to rest, a past relationship, it feels like. And in the meantime, as you're healing and letting go, it, it kind of gives me like some world vibes, world world vibes, world energy. Like you're, there's a cycle that's completing here for you. Um, yes, definitely like there's a lesson. You may feel that now, or you may be feeling that going forward in September. Like, wow, okay, what the heck happened? And what was this all about? What was the lesson that I needed to learn? Um, let me take a look and see if Spirit has anything to say about what lessons you needed to learn. Oh, wow, the fool. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to start over. Take a leap of faith. For some of you, that was definitely a lesson. Um, from your past. And for others, it's the opposite. Where it's like, don't be careless in your decisions going forward. <clears throat> Make sure you're... Um, prepared I'm hearing okay part of your lesson this is what may be coming up for you in September you know some of you might just be looking back and like man I was so careless um, I went in blindly into something I should have paid better attention and for others th there was no risk didn't take a risk let something pass you by right okay so let's see here <clears throat> okay, so obviously showing up in your reading, King of Pentacles. Or there could be another connection with an earth sign. I kind of feel like, Virgo, you're looking back and just being like, what was real? So this, this is all about keepsakes. So you might find or have some keepsakes from a past relationship, Virgo, that maybe you're going to finally put them away or be done with them for some of you it's kind of like um like i always say with the world it's that one last look back that's what i feel like is happening here yeah look there's the six of cups so this is memories memories of your childhood memories of a past lover you're you're definitely going through a change here virgo in september where you're looks like putting something to rest here Looking at gifts that you received from another person or that was shared back and forth. Um, some of you are just, maybe you're going to sell that wedding ring. There's nostalgia here, okay? Definitely. But it's not like a, a longing, you know. The Six of Cups, if it were in the reverse, it would be like, it would be being stuck in the past. I don't see you being stuck in the past. I see you kind of like looking at a past person, place, a thing. Not being triggered by it. And that's when you know you're healed. And when I say triggered, I just mean 
it doesn't have a profound uh, emotional effect on you it's more like um, a memory okay so there's definitely a shift and a, a change that's happening here in your life in September Virgo so good if this is a place that you feel like you need to be or you want to be or you're ready to like face your past and figure out what your lessons are and what you needed to learn you definitely are coming into this energy and then you've got someone showing up here who's interested in you so as you're you know one out out what how's it go one I can't remember <laughs> when one door closes another door opens Yep, so there's a new opportunity. New opportunity coming in. Is somebody going to show affection? Uh, show some flirting, tell you that they like you. There's a romantic event blooming here in September for you. And it's new. That's Ace of Pentacles. So that's a very new energy. Yeah. Ooh, love it. Knight of Pentacles. So this is something that I feel like is going to go at a very steady pace and build accumulate this could be somebody that you work with so you have a connection to the to work with this person but the knight of pentacles this is the long-term reliable reliability this is the if you're going to have any kind of relationship it's with it's with the knight of pentacles energy to show up <clears throat> because it's it's sustainable it's long term so it could be with another earth sign of course let's see what else anything else okay so I feel like I kind of feel like <laughs> forgot I don't know how to tell you this but it might just be you who is taking it slow because I do feel like whoever this person is they are you know <laughs> they're gonna be rushing in pretty much even with the seven of cups having this like fantasy commitment thing um it's not necessarily a bad thing it's, it's all up to you and how you manage it right i, I don't see you rushing into anything with anyone i, I kind of feel like you're just going to be very reserved in connecting with somebody new or anyone who shows interest in you you're very virgos are very self-reflective they're very inner aware <clears throat> and with Virgos being perfectionists, they don't like to F up. They don't like to make mistakes. So if they've learned a lesson from a past situation, then they're very good at having a keen eye to spot those potholes in case that energy plays up again. And, you know, you can't feel the potholes if you're speeding over them, you know, so you're going slow. <clears throat> you're being a bit cautious. And for some of you, that's something that you needed to do. Um... So I feel like, yeah, you're definitely in your element as far as you seem to be taking a more practical approach to relationships versus romantic puppy love, rose-colored glasses, okay? So I, I feel like, let, let's see if we can find out a little bit more about who the person is that's coming in for you. So it, they, they're definitely going to want to rush. <clears throat> Maybe they don't haven't... For some of you, might just be out of a relationship like last week or just yesterday, and um, you're not rushing in. I don't feel like, so I kind of feel like they're rushing in. I don't know if they've been in a relationship recently or if they're broken up, but they're definitely on a, a quicker course than you. Okay. So this person's showing up with this magician energy. They're definitely showing off or definitely want to kind of like perform a little bit try to get your attention so you might notice that about them okay um i do feel like this person does some type of like they're very generous they they offer um help they're very they're a very helpful person it could be a gemini it could be another virgo but they're very helpful okay two of wands So I feel like this person, I see them, they're not like, so they're not in a rush to secure a relationship, but when they meet you, they will be. But I do feel like 
they're at a crossroads at their life as far as what path they want to go now and what how they want their life to look and they're just kind of like standing there waiting and they're like well if someone great comes along then i'll pursue that path um but i'm not gonna try to fulfill that on my own it, it's got to be like organic it's got to be i feel like they're saying kind of perfect okay and here's the star yeah so this person they're very spiritual um they might be a public figure or in the spotlight <clears throat> Could be Aquarius energy. This person's very like they, they just seem to be very um a, a very hopeful type of a person, and they're honest and truthful. So that's that's good. Let's see when you're gonna when exactly might you meet this person? October. Okay, even though it's September reading, um, I do feel like sometime in October. It, it, sometime between now and the start of October. Okay. We may have already met them. They're giving me real estate or banking. Real estate or banking. So this person, okay. They, they live near a river. There's a connection to a river. Or streams, like a river of streams, or something like that. And I also feel like um, they might live near a, a zoo or some wild animals as well. Some connection to wild animals. And uh, also, so they're giving me Leo vibes. Uh, they, have, they have a cat, like a really big, like a man, what's it called? Maine Coon? Somebody has, a, or maybe it's you. Somebody has, they're selling me a Maine Coon cat. Wow, four of wands, okay. This person, they're, they're giving me like log cabin, log cabin, or a wood, like a, maybe a, a house that's being built, framed out, I'm hearing. A framed out home or a house that's currently being built. Okay. Queen of Cups and Knight of Cups, okay. Virgo, I feel like you're, this person is going to touch your heart. There's going to be like this um, emotional connection that gets made very heartwarming, romantic. They come across to me as for being very romantic. Not like crazy, but just, you know, they have that a sensitive side. <clears throat> uh, could be water, a water sign, water energy. Um, trying to win over your heart. Win you over, yeah, there's competition here. This person's not, <laughs> they're very confident. They have a lot of self-assurance. They know who they are. Um, I feel like this person is um, willing to, like, I, whether you whether or not you have competition for, for your attention, I don't know personally, but even if you don't, they view that any person that they're, they want to win you over, so maybe they might be hoping that you're going to make it a challenge for them <laughs> and not just like you know fall down on their doormat and be like here i am take me <laughs> don't do that please don't do that <clears throat> so yeah i kind of get a sense that as you're going through uh releasing the past and letting go of the past reminiscing putting things behind you you do have a, a new opportunity to meet someone that's coming up here starting now through september okay i'll get you some names i'll try to figure out what they look like and all as well just stick around I'll do that right at the end here okay so there you go spiritual lesson so there's definitely a spiritual lesson here that's been learned um and this person coming in might actually teach you or, or remind you or help you understand what that spiritual lesson was and uh, this new partnership is it's faded. It's destined for you two to, to come together. I think there's this energy of like spirits been kind of bringing you, preparing you both to come together. This new person. But they couldn't make a move yet until you were completing your cycle. Completing your lesson. Now maybe you've already come together. And this is just telling you about what's already happened. But 
it feels like it's a Dustin faded connection here really important to like I mean obviously you're gonna have some boundaries up which we saw that because you're kind of taking it slow you're not rushing into anything all right it's this looks like it's gonna be your true love <laughs> your true true love not your karmic love not your crazy toxic love like a true love connection <clears throat> let's see if we can find out the Chinese sign for you and your person here I think we'll go with the white deck okay year of the monkey year of the ox year of the tiger <coughs> year of the horse year of the goat year of the pig year of the rat and year of the dragon okay so they could be born in those years or it could be you if it's if you don't know it doesn't mean it's not your reading or if it doesn't resonate it doesn't like i said it doesn't mean it's not your reading let's see if we can get some idea of like how this person's going to show up as far as features like their physical features physical features okay so short hair coming in with short hair definitely going to be tattoos could be heavily tattooed or just have a lot of tattoos we see someone here who's muscular <coughs> <coughs> excuse me still kind of recovering here you guys we do see someone here who is either bald or has a very short like crew cut could be military and you do have someone here who is tall <clears throat> okay wow Virgo interesting any other messages here for Virgo okay you have courting man all right Someone in a uniform or professional male, masculine or feminine. Okay, home. There's the real estate card. Could be a connection to real estate. Property, real estate, residence. And dating. Wow, Virgo. <laughs> I mean, the cards are pretty much like, yep, yep, this is what's going on. Yep, this is what's going on. All right, let's see what else do you have here. You have patience, just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait, but move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over. Move on from Mr. or Mrs. Insecure or emotionally unavailable. Even if that means divorce, experiencing a breakup, something leading to commitment. So there's your cycle card, as I said. Something ending, something new beginning. So it's very beautiful. If that's the place that you're in, it looks like that's the energy that will be playing out for you. That's the direction you're going. If it resonates, leave a comment below. Put an R for resonates. If you're like, yeah, this is exactly what's happening. I'm cycling out, letting go, looking back on the past with, or trying to look back on the past with fond memories and saying, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so you have Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, and Virgo showing up. All right, somebody might have a fearful avoidant attachment style. August 26th, September 10th. Okay, someone's 52, 38, August 31st. Someone's 63, someone's 56. September 19th. I'm hearing Pat or Patrick or Patricia. Someone's birthday is in February. We have the initial W. We have 1967, 1989, 
uh, I'm hearing Ken or Kenny or Kenneth. Uh, September 17th. Oh, also 1969. Someone's 37. March, birthday in March, September 4th. Um, okay. Beck, someone's last name maybe or first name, Beck. I'm also picking up the initial J. We have a P, T, W, the initial B, K, M, and E. Someone lives in Maine. Someone's in Washington. And someone's Italian or has it? Italian descent from Italy, maybe. Okay, September 8th, someone's 45. Uh, someone's in Hawaii, 1978. With initial L, with initial A, and O. Okay. Somebody's learning AI right now, doing something with AI, artificial intelligence, AI. All right, let's get some charms. All right, you guys, two very blue, oh my goodness, wow. Okay, we have a blue rocking horse and also a blue pumpkin carriage kind of like cinderella <laughs> okay this these are very childlike this is giving me some disney vibes our childhood or childlike something to do with children uh cinderella something to do with cinderella fairy tales mary something could be like this this might feel like a fairy tale connection that comes in very sweet a sweet kind of relationship with someone. Let's get another one. I'm trying to dig in and get something that I didn't have yesterday. Oh yeah, it's planetary. Look at that. It's almost like it's out of this world. <laughs> this is really sweet. Might feel like it. Saturn, Saturn energy gold someone likes to wear gold there's a connection to gold very planetary planetary the planets are aligning for you and your person to come together <laughs> all right virgo so <clears throat> this is a little bit shorter i know i'm gonna leave this here um thank you for becoming a member of my channel um as you know this video is going up a little went up a little bit early due to um stuff going on on the tv tonight so i know not everybody's going to be watching the debate but i didn't want to put it up and interrupt anyone that might be okay so everybody get a chance to watch so i will leave this here i will see you guys back here tomorrow have a fantastic night love you bye i just can't let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only